We're at the Oakland, Oakland Zoo. Zoo. We are so happy to be here in the Bay Area where we are so excited. So amazing, has so many different exhibits and features. We are super psyched about this visit. Come join us, run the Atlas. Yes. Hey guys, I'm at the Oakland Zoo. What's special about the zoo is that it's governed by this Conservation Society of California, which means that they really focus on welfare and education of animals in the environment. One of the most impressive exhibits that we've ever seen at a zoo is the California Trail, which opened in July of 2018. It's accessible via a scenic gondola ride and covers 56 acres where they showcase eight of the state's most iconic indigenous animals. We soared 650 feet above sea level to access the California Trail. Below us, we could see the bison roaming freely in their habitat. The American bison were once indigenous to California and are now near threatened due to overconsumption. Here you can see where they roamed years ago versus today. Next, we spot the bald eagle, once widespread and abundant in California. Today, they are endangered with less than 30 nesting pairs. Next, we spot the habitat of the gray wolf, one of the most elusive of the predatory animals. Next, we spot the jaguar. Yes, this animal once lived in California. In fact, in the early 20th century, the jaguar's range extended as far west as Monterey in Northern California. They're now endangered due to hunting. Jaguars used to be native to this area. Historically, wildlife conservationists are hoping that this exhibit will raise awareness so that these animals can thrive once again. Now for one of California's most visible and enduring symbols, the grizzly bear. But where have they all gone? Prior to the Spanish settlement in the 18th century, there were roughly 10,000 grizzlies in California. Less than 75 years after the discovery of gold in 1848, almost every grizzly in California had been tracked down and killed. After the 1920s, no grizzlies were ever seen again. Prior to visiting the zoo, I never realized that the grizzly, which is seen on our flag in numerous California sports teams, cannot even be found in our state. The zoo rescued this black bear after it was threatened for being euthanized after invading a home. Now the bear is safe here and climbing trees. I've visited many zoos before, but this was my first time seeing a bear in action climbing a tree. It's just so balanced. It's so easy for her. The zoo hopes that you can see these animals for yourself, make a connection, and help protect them for the future. One of the greatest success stories of the zoo is the story of the California condor. In 1987, they were almost extinct with only 27 left in the wild. They were brought to the zoo, treated for lead poisoning, and now making a comeback. Gosh, look at that! His head turns all the way around. Now for one of the most breathtaking highlights of the zoo, the panoramic view of the Bay Area. The zoo also teaches the next generation what it's like to be a biologist through a very interactive exhibition called the Habitarium. The exhibit teaches kids how to explore nature and respect the environment. Can we talk about what the biologists are looking for in that burrow, in that shape, when they're out there because they spend most of their life underground. 
The exhibit shows kids just how connected we are to our environment and gives them ideas on how we can take action and also sparks an interest in STEM careers such as biology. Ooh. You're an action hero now, Mike. <laughs> yeah. I'm committed. <laughs> and during winter time, they have the Oakland Zoo lights at night. The Oakland Zoo is perched high above the Oakland Hills and you can bring some food here and have a picnic. And there's also lots of trails too surrounding the zoo. Did somebody say trails? It's time to head one hour inland from the Oakland Zoo to Mount Diablo, one of the highest peaks. We just drove up to a place in the East Bay called Mount Diablo. It's really high up, over a thousand feet. And the view is of the entire East Bay. Look at how green the hills are. This is late December here. This is the summit of Mount Diablo, 3,849 feet high. This is the trail a lot of people bike up here. There's a lighthouse. At the top of Mount Diablo, and behind us, you can see the city of San Francisco. Look at how small it is from up here. There's the Sierra Nevada. If you like these views as much as we do, be sure to hit the thumbs up button down below. Road, it's super windy. Welcome to Mount Diablo. Going in here. Ooh, we found a cool viewpoint. And finally, we spotted some local wildlife. A family of deer. The conservation for animals like this are in our hands, and we want to thank the Oakland Zoo for helping to raise awareness to the protection of these animals at home and beyond. If you're in the Bay Area, be sure to check out the Oakland Zoo. It's one of the most eye-opening and educational zoo experiences that we've had. Link in the description below for more info. And if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.